be somebody home. Okay, so I'm giving this a try again. I'm making a very easy, lay down. Puppies, come here. No. So I'm making a really easy maxi skirt. And they'll stop in a second because I'm pretty sure my daughter just pulled up in the driveway. So that's probably why they're barking. They're excited that somebody is home. Is it really annoying and loud? Princess Sharpay, enough. Okay, well all the technical difficulties that I had, I think I've got fixed um, with my serger. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this material. Beautiful, beautiful material. I'm gonna make for Maxi skirt. Um, Oh, I know what all that dinging is now. Somebody commenting on something. Um, lay down. Come here. Come here. So, what we're going to do is now we're going to um, cut the pattern out. And what we're making is, oh, it's over here. Lay down. Lay down. This is the maxi skirt that I will be making. So, so easy to do. Your cat's not liking the dogs. They must think that they're back. Yep, they're thinking that they're back. <laughs> so I've already made this maxi skirt. Actually, I have made several of them for both me and my um, granddaughter and my daughter. Um, and like I said, I can make this skirt I'm probably in about an hour is what I could probably make this skirt in. Now talking, I'm sure it's going to take me much more time. Excuse me. So am I working better now, Jen? Because I am not working on my computer. They don't see me. Let me see. Let me go here and see what happens. I see me here, but I don't see me in another area. So I've already, uh, this is a pattern that you can um, print out yourself. And it's called a PDF. And you just basically tape all the pieces together. And when I'm done, I write on here the size that it is because I have several different sizes. And I'll put these other sizes back in here because we don't need them. Now I found that the maxi skirt was entirely um, for me too long but if you're a tall person that shouldn't be a problem. So I have a certain spot that I folded it at I believe. I did. Let me hold this up to me again and see if I folded it. Because I didn't want to. Oh, wait, maybe I didn't. That wasn't on me. That was on somebody else. Good thing I'm looking, right? Um, oh, I did. See right here? It is actually, I folded it up and then I took my side right here. And then I folded it down so I got a nice, um, you know, even thing. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to cut this out and let's see what we can do with what room we have here. And this is the material that I will, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get back on again this week or if I'm going to wait until um, next week to uh, work on that. Yeah, your cats are probably ready to hide, I'm sure. As a matter of fact, I've made so many of these skirts, I don't even need the um, directions anymore. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut two sections. I'm trying to get you stationed here. See how you can 
Let's see if I raise you up a little bit if it gives up more. Nope, I think that's it. Okay, so right here it tells you to place on fold. So that's what I'm gonna do. Two of these will go on a fold. So again, because I have it taped, I don't want to untape it. You can see how much too long the skirt was for me. So I just, there's an area. I think it's, it might even tell you to shorten it there. I don't know. Some of them do. They'll say shorten and lengthen here. I don't see that on this one, but I just might have picked a line and used it. Okay, let me get this laid out nice and smooth. on the fold and I there's no way I, I would be able to refold this and get um and get two but I think I'll have enough leftovers to like make somebody some um leggings that would be really nice let me turn my machine out of the way Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm lifting my fabric over to make sure that, you know, because sometimes when you have it on the fold of the fabric, it, um, um, what's the word I'm going to use? It'll be shorter because it might not be cut straight from wherever you got it from. So I like to just double check that. I don't always pin, but this is um, material is a little slippery, so I feel like I need to pin this. Hi, Rachel. I see Rachel just joined. Making an easy maxi skirt today. So easy. Even you could do it. Throw them folds is a lot, or yeah, all the paper here on the edge. Okay, just about ready to cut. Put one up here. down here. It's not a good thing. Okay. I think I'm ready to cut the first piece. So I'm not going to be able to see me right here. I guess I really should have turned this around and done it the other way to make cutting for me a little bit easier, but oh well, we live and learn. And then you just cut along the edge. And you can see this PDF has different lines, so you would cut on our pattern, PDF pattern, so you will cut on the line for your size. Some pattern makers make it so that you're able just to cut out the size that you need. And that serves quite a few purposes, one of them being it'll save the paper and ink. Okay, that's the first one I'll cut out. Let's sit that over there while we unfold our fabric. And I tend to um, 
buy my fabric and then I go to I went to the comic book store and I bought comic book boards and I roll my fabric on them and it, it helps keep them a little bit neater and the size is pretty consistent when you're um, when you're folding them and you're trying to store them and put them away and all that good stuff Let's see where do we start with this one right here Isn't this fabric pretty? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm <laughs> not liking my view of my bottom there. Whew. All right. Now you could unpin this and put it aside, or you could just lay this right on it with the pin, what's already pinned, which is what I think I'm going to do. Because the weight, I'll probably just pin a couple sections compared to what I did um, earlier. And try not to catch tablecloth while I'm at it. So the underneath part was stretching out a little bit, so I just tucked that back underneath. personal just pinched my finger okay. Okay. guess we didn't get a storm it must have went around us I heard some thundering a few seconds ago no right side or wrong side or I should say there's no front or back there is a right side and wrong side there's no front or um, back difference And I will post this pattern. I'll, I'll um, put it up, but you can see it is from the Simple Simon Company, Simple Maxi Skirt. And see how it told me to cut two on fold, and I showed you where the fold line was. Put that aside. Take this material, and we'll fool with that later. So now I have my two pieces of the skirt. Piece one, piece two. I'm going to start the same piece out. All right. I'll bring you back over here. I was just trying to figure out how I went about doing what I just did. All right. Let me see if I can get you over here without. There we go. Okay. How's that? Watch out just a little bit so you can see me too. All right, so you can pin, you can choose to pin or not to pin. Um, <laughs> that is the question. No, um, that's up to you. I'm not really a pinner, but to start it, I will. But let me show you how I'd like to pin. Okay, you can see that's one panel right there, and this is the top. And here's the other panel. Because you have to be very, very careful with pins in your serger because it will tear your blade up on your um, serger in no time. So let me put 
put a couple pins in and then show you. Here, I'm gonna put it down while I'm pinning. There you go, so you can see what I'm doing. Because it'll sometimes it slides, especially this material is really slippery. So I'm pretty sure that when I start sewing, it's gonna um, slide on me in the beginning. It's almost like a, um, or actually I think it is a bathing suit material. It has that nice soft silky feel to it. And I'll put another one right there temporarily. Okay, so then I like to lay it down like this. And I'll take my needles and they will run them this way away because you don't want to catch your foot on that or anything else. And I'll run a couple like that just so while I'm getting started. And I really don't need any more after this. That's But you could, you could pin it all the way down like that. So here we go. We're gonna start sewing. Um, I like to lift my foot up and I'm gonna sew right on the edge with this one because this just fits me. And I've kind of gained a little bit of weight, so I was hoping that it'll fit, but it's coming back off slowly. And I wanted to make this last year, and I never did. Kind of glad I got to make it for you guys now. So it's just trimming off the tiniest bit, and see how nice of a hem that is right there? Now I can pull these out, that way I don't lose them on the floor or I don't get my finger stuck. Now don't forget to save this and share it. We're still working on getting a couple more likes so we can have our Facebook contest. Wouldn't that be great? I'm gonna summer wreath before the summer's over, otherwise I'm gonna to have to go to an autumn one. got some ideals for the autumn, an autumn wreath. Emma and I have been pinning them. And yeah, I don't have Emma here with me today to help me. She's off with a friend. It's summertime. I'm going to feel underneath. Sorry, I know I'm kind of taking a little while because it's so slippery. I don't want to go too fast and I don't want to stretch it out at the same time either. Remember, our um, contest is for the U.S. only and Canada. I can probably, yeah, I can mail to Canada without any problem, but I'm not, no other, like, international, cannot do international right now. Just, the, I'm not sure what the price of the postage would even be. But, and you want to leave a tail when you cut, okay? But as I get more likes, um, I should be able to by then. And it has a nice, um, the seam is nice and tight. So we, that side is all done. So now it's time to come over to the other side. And we're gonna do the same exact thing over here. Let me just put a couple pins here to hold this where I want it. Okay, like so, put you back down, so see what I did, see, I have two pins here and here, that's just to keep it the way that I want it, but I want to come over here, away from the edge, and I want to pin there, and like I said, what this does is, hopefully it'll help your dress from um, shifting too much when you first start, and I'm going to take these pins out now. Okay, let's go back to surging some more. Okay, we can 
pull these out now. We don't need them. You see how fast this is? I mean, it's amazing. Why are we doing this? We're bunching up. Did I have a thread break? Yeah, I had a thread break. Hold on a second. We gotta fix this. That's two threads. Let me surge off here. Figure out what's going on here. Glad I noticed that before I got too far. All right, now let's see what two threads came undone. Hopefully, oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well that's not good because that means I have to re-thread the whole thing. We saw how well that went for me earlier. Now don't forget, you can save the video. Hi, Aunt Flo, I see you're back. Um, you can save the video for for later. If you can't watch it all now, then you'll be able to watch it then. Share it to your uh, page. Encourage others to come along and watch us. This is when I wish my other serger was working because then I could just pop over to it instead. All right, now I know some people that just use generic colors. They'll use white and black and never change them. But I had off-white in here and that would not have looked right with the skirt because if the seams pull a little bit, you don't want to see off-white threads with this. If I had black, I probably would have um, left the black thread in here. Next one. And again, when you when you thread a serger, it's not in that kind of an order that you would think straight across. You start with the second from the right, and then you go to the one on the end on the right, and then you come over and do the middle one, second from the left, and then the left one. Not sure why we have to do it that way, but I can honestly say I've tried not doing that, and it didn't turn out very well. So the reason behind it is there for a reason. Hush. No. no. Princess. You cats hear them again, Jen? No. You were upset earlier. Because she just had them for me for a week. And her cats were not happy in the least. Now you don't have to have a serger in order to make this. You could use like a small zigzag stitch to do this. easier than earlier. Okay. Now, let me try and get this right there.
so far things are going good. One more. Okay, now almost done here. Like I said, the skirt only takes about an hour from start to finish if you don't run into complications. Like I am. You know how it is. If it's live, it's going to go wrong. See, the last time I was trying to do this, I kept having internet problems. So tonight we are having eye and surgery problems because eye and the needle. Okay, let's see. Make sure you put our needle back down. See what happens. Put our foot down and let's go. This thread broke. Hmm, I don't know what's wrong with my thread. Why is it breaking? It's not that old. So it shouldn't be. Oh my goodness, technology sometimes. that wrapped around the needle. We don't want that or that will break. Let me see if I can fix this. All right. I think I fixed it. Let's find out. Okay. You have to make sure these threads are under the foot also. Let's see what happens. Nope. I didn't have it in there right. want to scream sometimes because things don't go well. It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Something is not it. talked about how much I like this serger. Well, <laughs> that opinion is about to change. <laughs> okay, the pull through. There we go. It's just one of those things where everything that can go wrong is going to go wrong tonight. And it was just going along so smoothly. But I guess nothing's ever just the way it is. Nothing's ever foolproof. Got barky dogs. You got a serger that's giving me a heck of a time. Okay, now let me try this and see what happens. And we're not surging at all. Oh my goodness. If this doesn't work after this time, I'm going to have to 
finish it another night. Okay, this is my last try on this. Okay, it's going to work this time, I just know it. Get the blade up and out of the way. Okay, we're gonna follow all the, all the red um, thingies. something that shouldn't be helpful. There we go. Alright. Alright, that went well. Now through all the yellow ones. I mean I can thread this thing without any problem. It's I don't know what the problem is. My thread is breaking. But that doesn't mean it's getting old. But they say you should store your thread in a dark area. You shouldn't store it in the sunlight because it breaks them down. Which my stuff is not stored in the sunlight, so that's not the problem with the thread. I can tell you that. find out in a second. And again, do not go by how rough of a time I'm having to go against, whoops, wrong side, to um, discourage you from getting a serger because this doesn't happen all the time. And it's just one of those evenings where, you know, if it could go wrong, it's going to go wrong. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm putting white behind the needle. And what that does is that helps you see the eye of the needle much easier. Like it just, especially with this right here and the light reflecting on it, I can really see where the eye of the needle is now. Way better than without it. Now I see it, can I get it in? And this is, Static electricity is wanting to stick to me. All right. make it to the end. Can we girl? Can we? Anybody talk, like to talk to their machines? Tell them what good girls they are and how much you appreciate them. concentrating on that one. There we go. Okay. Think we got it this time? What do you think? I certainly hope so. Yay! It looks, looks okay. I don't want to say good, but it feels like it's sticking up. It's sticking. 
I don't know. It's this one again. So I must not be getting it in there right if um if it's not working. Just pull it out and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. This is definitely my last time. If I don't get it this time, I will, um, I'll just be done until I can figure out what's wrong with my machine. But I was really excited to make this. I think I have to. I really need to pull these through. thread the whole thing. Why is it bent? There. Give me this one. They tell you when you rethread, you're supposed to rethread the whole thing. And I was trying to cheat and um, not do that. But as you can see, you can't do that. But I sure was going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, girl. I know you can do it. And if I could have found the um, halfway decent flashlight. That probably would have solved them. Well, this is not where it belongs. That probably would have, um, solved a lot of my issues. But nothing I can do about that. I don't know where, I guess with everybody having flashlights on their phone now, finding a flashlight in the house has gotten harder. Besides the fact that, um, the little kids like to take off with the flashlights, you know, it's pretty cool. You get underneath the blankets or you go in closets or you turn on the flashlights. Or the husband takes them and uses them and doesn't bring them back. Anybody else have that problem? Things get borrowed and not put back where they belong. I think this is where my hang up is coming in. I don't like how this oh yay, I did it. I don't really like how um this one works. And I don't like how much thread I'm wasting. Oops. Okay. There we go. I think that one, it looks better. Whoops, they were already threaded. Like this. Like I said, if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna um, stop for the evening. It's getting late. Even though there's still sunlight outside. Kind of, sort of. And put this behind. One 
last thread to do and let's see what happens. This one, I can see I was a little bit, I was hoping I didn't have to do this, but I will. So how many of you are bored of watching me rethread the serger 20 million times? But honestly, if you get one and you're not sure how to do all that, the best thing you can do is thread and rethread. Okay, what do you think folks? What do you think? You think it's gonna work this time or not? Let's see, let's see. All right, well, I have no idea what's going on with my machine. Why it's giving me such a hard time. And this won't stay. I guess this is losing its umph. Because it won't stay um, lit so I can see. See, this isn't right here where it belongs. That's what the problem is. And I don't understand why that's not staying in there um, like it's supposed to. I just... I'm not one to give up. I hate, I hate defeat. There we go. Let me, let me grab. Hey, Kayla. Kayla. I need a real flashlight is what it, what it is for doing that second one. But she's probably got a radio on up in her room and cannot, cannot hear me. So, well, again, if you're just tuning in, you could save this and watch this later since I seem to be um, becoming quite the expert here on threaded machines. What I ended up doing the, whoops, did I pull that back out? I sure did. What I ended up doing the one time was I turned my phone around and used the flashlight on it, which I very well can't do with you guys watching. So, let me, where's the thread? Let me, um, I wonder. Let me see if my iPad, oh, I just stuck one that's slippery. Let me see if my iPad is bright enough. I'm sure I can find something bright. I do have a, um, I wish I knew where that light was that I just got. Um, oh, yep, yeah, you know what? If I turn this on, 
Wow, look at all that light. Maybe I'll be able to see what's going on. I'm not supposed to be down there like that. Okay, that may help me a lot tremendously, and it's probably something I should have done way back in the um, beginning. Oh, I hope my dogs don't start barking. The neighbor's dog is barking. You know what? What's going on? Why is my thread look like that? Um, you shouldn't pull back through either, just to kind of let you know. This has got to be one of the worst shows I have ever, or live um, things. Oh, I'm going into stuff here. I don't want to do that. That I have um, ever done. All the problems. And trust me, I've had some horrible, well, not horrible, but you know, things happen. I don't want to do anything that involves turning the internet on for light. So, let me turn that one on. Did I give me enough light? I might have to oil my machine too. It feels like it might. What did I just do? Alright, well that's not working because that is definitely not. Let's try this. Let's see if that's, that's a lot brighter. Okay. So, this is definitely, I know I keep saying this is the last time, but I really want to finish this. I really want you to see it from start to finish. And who knows, I'll have to finish it another, maybe one day this week, maybe third, Wednesday night or Thursday night I can finish it and then work on the top as well. But I really wanted to wear it tomorrow night. I guess I wouldn't wear it tomorrow night anyway because I wouldn't have the top, but eh, I guess it's the thought. Okay, that is in like it's supposed to be. And then the only other thing is this right here. I think this is what's causing a problem right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There we go. There's a piece that this one piece of yarn is supposed to get hooked on and it's like up in up in here so you can't see it you have to go by um, for this particular machine you have to go by um, feel to get it to hook whereas I have one machine where the piece would come out and I got it this time so we shall see what happens. Um, but anyway, the other one I had, it had a piece that you would like click and it would come down for you so that you could do it and then it would click back in place. But that machine kind of was unrepairable. It got to the point, it was old and it got to the point that I couldn't get it fixed anymore. I mean, that like broke my heart because I absolutely loved, I mean, I love that machine. It was a great working machine for me. He was a serger. Okay. 
my fingers. One more piece. I don't know who you are that's hanging in with me, but thank you. It doesn't tell me who's who's hanging in. <laughs> of course, it depends on where I look as to how many people I have watching. And in case you are watching and didn't see earlier, what I'm doing is if you put white behind the needle. It helps you to see the eye of the needle better. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I can actually get that in. And this is shiny, like satiny, so the light really reflects nicely off of that. All right, let's see what we have. This is Either it's going to work or it's not going to work. But, you know, you can always fast forward past all this nonsense if you watch it later. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Okay, so way too many complications with my surgery this evening. I have no idea what the problem is. I've never never had this happen before which one is um oh it's this one well this might be a quick easy fix because it's just the needle I thought it was going to be that one again I'm just going to pour from there um I don't know I honestly just don't know you know everything Got a nice little mess going on with threads. This was supposed to be get on and be off within an hour. That was my goal tonight. I was supposed to be upstairs in my bed, curled up under my blankets, watching a movie. But we see how well that's going. doing besides about to have a nervous breakdown over a surger again all my problems that I'm having please don't let that deter you from getting a surger because it's not always like that yay now if we have another issue I promise you at this point I will stop and, and we go but like I said when you watch this this you can fast forward through that um, part. All right, let me get this back on here. And get back to surging. Okay. Oh. Some of your uh, knits curl more than others. This one, fortunately, is not one that curls a lot. is looking good let's see if it'll stay that way if I didn't lose everybody <laughs> my daughter's home can you tell My granddaughter 
Barbie home soon, so they'll bark again at that. Okay. We actually finished Tenon. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Is she on her way home? I was going to say, because I won't be able to get the door. I just didn't like how that looked right there. It looked like it wasn't going to hold up. Okay. So look. Want to see? Without hemming it, here is a skirt. So now what we need to do, and I was trying to figure this out. So I really need, I need opinions. If anybody's still with me, I need an opinion. Okay. I have this, but I just don't think it looks right with this. I thought I had plain black and I don't have any plain black. And I just think that is too, too much for that. And of course I have a white one, but that definitely, it definitely does not, well, Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't look too bad. I think I might actually like that one. The white and silver sparkly. Because what I thought about doing was just using the back side of it. And just having the, the plain, plain black. Because I think I'm going to go with the white one. And the sparkles, which was not my intention. I guess it's kind of grayish. So, you need to measure your waist. Oh. So you would, let me tilt you up a little bit. You would take this, where you, where you wear your skirts. I know some people wear their skirts lower down. I like my skirts um, up here. So, let me put a... I like my skirts in here. Yes, I know you like your skirts lower down on the hip. You and Annalie and everybody else. I think that's where the young people mm -hmm. like to wear their um, stuff. So that, that feels, I'm going to have a little bit of a tightness to it because kids come along and grab. Little kids. And you got youngins. I don't personally have youngins, but I have young grandchildren. And yep, I've had my skirt tucked a little bit too much sometimes. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm putting these two together, and you could um, do it however you want. You can do it on the sewing machine, you can overlap it, but I'm gonna um, do it this way because of the way that I'm gonna have it have it show. I left one of the pins in because I need to know where I'm doing that. Okay, took both pins out. I stitched the wrong piece. Did I? No. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> You're funny. All right. Um, let me just order again. Just for support. I don't like see how it's pulling apart like that I don't why I don't like that so I could get my machine out and stitch on it and just go back and forth which is probably what I'll do real quick because I have to have my machine to hem it anyway so let me pull my um, sewing machine up here and put that up here on the end Mostly one arm. So. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope I have, I have white in there, but that'll be all right. Whoops. So let me have that. I'm going to go back and forth with the straight stitch, back and forth, just to um, reinforce it because, you know, you don't want your elastic to come undone when you're wearing your, um, your outfit, do you? 
I know I don't. That would be some major uh, wardrobe malfunction. like the first one. The black? You'd like the black one better? Well, I kind of do too, but then I like this one too. But I already sewed it, so it took too long to answer. Okay, there we go. It's tighter. And some of the purple showing, but that's okay. Uh, more than most likely, I will have a um, top over it. So for doing um, the skirt, you need to find, or for the to put the elastic in, you need to find your center. Find your center and put a pin in. And then when you find your center, you need to find your, your center for your sides. And we're gonna put a pin in there also. Okay, and for the skirt, we already know, um, make sure I have the right end. Yep, this is the top. So we already know, because we have these two, we know that, that what they are. So now let's find the center of the front and the back. Hold on, I'm thinking to make sure I put this on right, okay. But I would like to have my seam to this on one of the sides with the seam on the side. So I'm going to take my one of the halves and I'm going to match it the right side of this to the right side of um, the material. Oh, my granddaughter's home, I think. Unless my daughter's talking to the dogs outside. Alrighty, and here's this side over here. Yeah, I think that all is what she's talking to. Alright. And we're gonna take and pin that piece there. You could pin more if you need to pin more. You pin as much as you think you need to pin on this one. Now, as you can see, the elastic is smaller than the actual skirt, and that's normal, so don't worry about that. And I'll probably take the fold in this way of the skirt and the fold of the elastic that way, so it, it reduces some bulk. Okay, let me put a pin there. And come over to this side and put one here. Okay. And then you want to stretch it as you sew it to get that one there um, the way that you want it. So here we go back to this. And you definitely want to be very careful that you don't cut any of the elastic off. If you need to raise your blade or lower your blade, go right ahead. Whatever it takes with your blade. Okay. A little something you can do is pull, tug on these just to kind of loosen up the threads a little. So you could put that in there. Um, I'm going to start right around this. And I'm going to slide that up underneath here like this put that there so it cuts it of course i'm going to have to remove that pin before i start i cannot forget about that pin all righty Okay. Hi, baby. You see, 
Donald this time. Hi. Mm. Hope you missed you. Missed you. Just want to kind of, <clears throat> you want to stretch your elastic and not the skirt itself. And you might not even really need to stretch, it just depends. It's looking nice, actually. All right. I heard clunking. It better not be clunking because something's messing up with the thread again. So I'm telling you. It's still looking okay. Okay, so that's what's important. Okay, take that pin out and come around to here. We have our last quarter to do. And then we'll be able to hem it. a good thing. Okay, we're almost back to the beginning. A tiny bit more. We're back to the beginning, just start right off the edge. And here is the elastic. So I can wear my elastic up like that if I want. Maybe I'm wearing something that might go with nicely. Or I can fold it in like that and wear it in like that and if I decide I want to keep it in I could do like a nice little um, double needle top stitch all the way around that now to hem it several things that you could do you this does not ravel at all so you do not have to serge around it but I do and my reason is because then I just fold it on that um, serge part and it makes it easier to hem and I'll show you in just a second but let's Let's quickly just go around this. I mean, we're not trying to make anything fantastic. This is just going to be like our little um, help us measure. I guess my little guide for how much I want to I want to hem. smaller of a hem than I think I would like, but that's okay. I'm excited. We're down to the home stretch. I think we can move it back.
way I kind of really don't have to um, pin either because, oops, I folded up on the um, and then served off the edge. Okay, there we go. Okay. Apparently she's on some kind of mission, but they don't, she doesn't want anybody to fail. All right, so we're done this. I'll just turn this off. Now we have, oh, I didn't put my little label in. I was gonna put my little label in. Oh well, with everything that was going on, I completely, um, completely forgot. All right, I think we could get through this without any kind of disaster. Let's bring you over here. Now we're going. I got stuff on my cord for my phone. that. Yep, it's about where I want it. Perfect. All right, let me reach in front of you and grab the skirt. All right. Um. Hmm. I wonder what color I should do the Black would look on it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it in black because I don't have any um, of that thread up here. And then um, I'm not gonna leave you as to run downstairs to get it. That's just too much. I've already kept you on here forever. Oh, this was running out. Okay, so I use something called. Um, wooly nylon. Oh, there's a piece of material or thread stuck. I need to clean all this out. I need to get out of there. There we go. When I'm done, I guess I'll clean clean my machine. Actually, maybe I'll do a, a live thing on that and how to go about cleaning it. Okay. You know, I need a pen. You need a pen? So, um, I don't know if there's a pen down there. You can go look. This is like a little bit stretchier than um, normal thread. It's called wooly nylon or um, yeah. wooly, wooly wooly or something. I don't know. That's like a song, wooly wooly. Um, oh, it's got two names. Wooly nylon and something else. All right. No. No? Mm -mm. All right, let me get some black thread. That should put the bad hmm? thing that you're doing. The thread? Bad. I know we got black thread, but it's a matter of where did it get put in here. Yep. Here it is, right down here. We are so close. Oh, careful. We are so close to the end. Hey, stop. I don't mean this thing off. Who are you talking to? To who? All right. Okay. So let's try to with this. When you sew um, with knits and things, you really should use a wooly nylon thread because uh, that helps your. Um, stretch fabric to have some stretch to it and I'm also I need instead of getting a whole nother thread thing I'm gonna put this up here this will be my second thread for my double needle and everybody's machine is different so I couldn't tell you how you would go about doing your double needle but this is how I do mine so Nina, Nina, what is that pinkish reddish color? It's not a 
pinkish reddish color. Yeah. Well, I kind of do see pink in it, but it's, it looks like dark blue pen. Hey, Nana. Mm, sorry, I don't want to. Nana, can I mix them these? Oh, okay. Oh, here's my double needle right here. And a double needle is just two needles in one. Mm -hmm. It makes for a nice um, professional finish. This is what it looks like. If you can see that. So we're going to take our other needle out. I mean, you can see, you know, about all the problems that we had, that this is a pretty um, skirt to put together. Tighten this up. And then separate the two thread, the two um, threads, and it, it doesn't matter which one from which side up top. That does not matter. Okay. Now the other thing I could have done, and I have done at times, is take and um, go about a quarter inch away from the hem of the. Um, whatever I'm sewing. There's an end. There we go. And then fold on that. Use that as my fold line. To me that's much easier than trying to um, whoops. Sitting there with measuring it and making sure it's right all the way around. If you know that your line is straight to begin with then you should be able to do that without any problem. Ah. Where'd my little scissors go? Your little scissors? Yeah, the little scissors I was using. Oh, oh no, I didn't steal them. I know you didn't. Because I can't have them. That's right. She's a good girl. She knows better than to touch her Nana's scissors. But Liam? Yeah, Liam on the other hand, he's still learning. He's still little. Yeah. But he's getting old enough now. Yeah, he's getting old enough to know. Yep, he is. You're right. Some help? Yep. Give me one second. Oh, I pulled that right back out, didn't I? Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Ow. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, but we didn't go swimming. Oh no. Didn't you hear that thunder? Can't go swimming when it's thundering out there. Yeah, but now there would be a perfect time. Now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's trash now, I'm sure. How big of a piece did you want? Like, so big. Oh. Sorry. Kid break. That's why I was trying to have this done before she got home. Oh, there's a second one. Alright. Now, now we get to hem our skirt. So I know I got this little line right here and I'm going to fold and then I'm going to fold over. Let me see. Okay, that should work. Now my machine, I can move my needles however they want, so I need to move them. If you take the, the zigzag and you plus it, it will move it to that direction, but still so straight. And if you minus it, it'll take it to the left. At least that's how it works on my machine. And I'm thinking it might on most. Okay, so let's hope I can get a nice um, even hem here going you know, on. And I'm going to go by feel. This? Huh? Where should I tape this? What do you mean where should you tape it? Um, where should I tape it? Are you going to tape it up? Yeah. Oh. Tape it onto that. What? The file cabinet. This? 
Yeah. I can't. Why? This is too small and this is... You mean that's too big and that's too... Well, tape it on the side. She is so cute. This you side? No, on the side. Side. No, come around. Around. Right there. Yeah? Yeah. She, um... My husband had went away overnight and for work, and um, she made her a picture of me, which was so cute, and said, "Here, this is so that you don't forget what I what Nana looks like being me." And then she made me one of him, and we hung it on the refrigerator so we don't forget what Pop Pop looks like looked like while he was gone. And when he came home, we knew who he was because we had those pictures, huh? I really need some help. I know you need help, but I can't keep stopping doing what I'm doing to help you, or I'll never get done. Yeah. I'll help you one more time. What? Yeah, but you never. Never what? Do anything. What do you mean I never do anything? You don't help me. Don't you touch buttons. Yes, I do help you all the time here. Yeah, you always help me. Yeah, I know I always help you. Yeah, but now I need your help. Okay, this isn't the end of the day. I have no idea what she means half the time. <laughs> I need more. All right, well, you know what? You're going to have to wait till I am done. I am almost done. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm going to get more. Where's your kid scissors? I don't know. I can't. I, I don't know where they are either. I need tape. You should see this nice hem. And it's a, going to be a, like a little wobbly and stretchy. But Mom, I usually... you can use the tape if you need okay. to. I usually, um, what I do is I usually will steam it. And it will take it back into shape. Or once you wash it, it should um, put the shape back for you. And these. You can use them. They are kid scissors, and that's what you're to use. But Nana, I don't need them, because I'm a good expert at scissors. Yeah, I'm sure you're an expert at scissors, but you're not allowed to have anything but kid scissors. If you get caught with anything else, you know you get punished, right? I don't want to get cut. Not I should have not even done it the way that I'm going to just... I decided to hem this I'm not thrilled with. I'm folding it over and then over again. I should have just folded it over one time and been um, done with it that way. But, oh well. Got to finish doing what I started. Oops. My hem got off a little bit right there. I don't want that to happen. Or it'll be uneven. Wouldn't that be terrible? Oh, will that work and then have an uneven hem? I mean, I could probably fix it pretty easy. That's not the point. Okay. I'm about to the halfway mark with it. Now, if you try and use regular um, thread in your bobbin, and um, more, especially around like necklines and things like that, you would um, rip it. You rip your threads because there's regular thread, cotton thread, even polyester thread does not have any um, give to it. So you want to make sure that you don't. Um,
done. We're about halfway around. are you eating now when it's time to go to bed? Because they're hungry? Well, we had bad timing on their part. They've already been out for this potty call. Now they're going to go out again. You don't need a puppy the puppy. I know. That's what doggies do. Eat. They eat. Eat. Not stop. Well, they can do nothing but eat and sleep. I have old lady dogs. They don't do much of anything. They're not big into playing. Why is that doing that? Did I run out of something? I ran out of bobbin thread. Hmm. Of course I did. Why would I not? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I run out of bobbin thread, huh? Well, you'll learn how, now you're gonna learn how to thread fully nylon. Okay, so. So what you want to do is you don't want to um, run this through your, um... no, I didn't run out. Okay, it just broke. Good. But really. There. Didn't want to have to do that right now. I still might before this is over with, but hopefully not. Okay. Hopefully we'll make it. Hopefully. I should have lengthened my stitch length, but I didn't. to the beginning. I hope we make it. I have a feeling I might not have as straight as Tim. But we shall see. We shall see. Because we are about back to the beginning. 
If not, I'll just trim this off and re hem it again. Did I finally run out? I did. I ran out at the very end. Can you believe that? I didn't make it. Oh, how horrible. Well, I'm not going to thread just for that little section right there. So let me um, let me try this on for you. I've got to shut my shade over here. I'm going to stand over here and do it. Okay. I don't think you can see me. Can you? Nope. see me yeah I'm not don't mind my body here you see yeah I think my hem is pretty pretty long except for this one little spot over here because it's not hemmed yet now see how you can wear it like this or you can turn that down and wear it like that folded in. This is so comfortable. I cannot wear it to wear this. Now I just need to, um, to make my top. See how that, that all looks up here? See my little pouch. And then, um, or this. Yeah, it's so soft. I love it. And once I make my shirt, um, hopefully this week, if not, I'll, I'll be back um, next week. And hopefully I won't have as many mechanical issues as I had this time. Uh, it's first time I've ever had, ooh, I just got a chill. First time I've ever had such problems when trying to make anything with my serger. Keep breaking the thread. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I couldn't see. I don't know. But hopefully that's something you would have fast forwarded through and you, you got to the end and got to see the finished product. It'll be even nicer next week or this week whenever. I'm not sure how my schedule is the rest of the week. And show you how to make the shirt and then see the whole thing together. Alrighty, well, I'm Cindy with Nana Sews and More, and it was nice of you guys to watch us tonight, and I will see you later. Bye.